It starts at around 5 in the morning local time. Millions of Egyptians head to the mosques and outdoor prayer grounds established around the country, especially for this occasion. The prayers are the main ritual in the Eid to mark the end of fasting and show respect to the holy month that has just ended. For me, Eid is fun. First of all, I have to congratulate my parents and close relatives for the festive season. We finish with the prayers. You know, after fasting and strict worship during the holy month of Ramadan, the reward is to enjoy Eid. A long-time tradition in Eid is that for children to wear brand new clothes. They go to the parks and the River Nile to enjoy the day. Naturally, balloons, sweets and cookies are a popular treat. It's a time for fun. Everyone meets to enjoy the Eid celebrations outside. Some of us make the special cookies at home and share with our friends. People come from neighboring countries to enjoy the atmosphere here as well. Here, all the families with their children go out for the prayers and then the parks. In Sudan, not many women or old men can go out. Unlike Sudan, here the festive atmosphere can be celebrated in the streets. Security has been beefed up to ensure an incident-free three days of celebrations. Egypt's main carrier, Egypt Air, announced there are 248 flights carrying 15,000 passengers on the first day of Eid alone. That's a staggering 20% increase on an average normal day. It's three days of festivities, not only in main cities like Cairo, but many Egyptians would travel to their hometowns for a reunion with their families, and others would head to the Red Sea and coastal cities to enjoy the sun and the beaches. Yes, Hakim, for CGTN, Cairo.